Hi, Nicole Zervius from Citrus Australia talking to you about KCT group applications. If you have filled in your Citrus tree census form correctly and clicked on yes for registering KCT markets, you'll receive an email something like this. that will ask you to now create your KCT application. This email will list your username and password, so keep these handy as you may need them later to view your application or make changes. This KCT application should be highlighted, this link, it's a URL link that will take you straight into your KCT application menu. So once you've clicked on this, it should take you to this screen. You can see we're under the heading KCT applications and there's a menu. We have three options. Create KCT application form. This is when you're creating individual block forms. Create KCT application group form when you want to create a group application form and view KCT applications when you want to view the applications that are in the system. So just a note about creating a group form. There are some rules around grouping individual blocks together. They must be the same variety type so you can't mix mandarin blocks or patches together with orange blocks or patches. They must be the same variety type. They must be physically near each other. They can be separated by a headland or main road, but they must have the same orchard address and appear on the same property map. A single block cannot be registered in a group and as an individual block. So if I want to create a group application form, but one of the blocks has already been chosen as an individual application form, I won't see it. So I won't be able to select it. So a single block can't be registered in a group and as an individual block. The system will allow up to 10 groups of blocks per orchard application. This should be enough for most growers. Once blocks are grouped, they remain in a group. So if the group is suspended, then all blocks in that group will be suspended as the group is now considered one block by the Department of Ag and Water Resources. So there are the rules for creating a KCT application group form. So if you're happy with those rules, we'll go ahead and choose our KCT registered pack house. I'll choose the orchard And I'll choose lemons for now because I'll need to work on each variety type separately. So I'm doing my lemons first. As you can see here, this next table shows the lemon patches in this orchard. So I'm clicking on both of these lemon patches that I want grouped. Once I've done this, I can cr click on create KCT application group form. This now opens the KCT application form. I'll need to pick my registered crop monitor. If you're not sure, contact your primary pack house about who the crop monitor will be. And I'll click on any secondary pack houses and nominate them at this stage. You can see the block name is 2138, which is the orchard number, 
dash E1. This indicates that it is a group application. The category is lemon. And I'll need to click on the markets that I'm nominating. Once I'm happy with that, I'll go to page three, put in my name. This part is for your primary pack house to complete, so we don't need to worry about that at this stage. And page four is a privacy notice from the Department of Agriculture and Water Resources. So that's for your reference. So once I'm happy with the application, I can send KCT application. This saves it. I'll click OK here. And I can just close that. If I had some more individual blocks that I wanted to group, I would go back to Prime Menu at this stage. I would leave this menu set up and I would change it to oranges here in this category because now I want to create an orange group. I'll click on Submit. And for this particular orchard name, in this case it's another orchard, I only have one patch. So I don't really need to create a group. So let's see whether an, another orchard name We'll have some more patches for me. Let's have a look. Okay, in this one, I can group the mandarin ones together. So again, I'll click on this. Create KCT application form. Again, I'll need to nominate my crop monitor. Now you can see here that Korea is greyed out. So it depends on the area that your orchard is in. So for mandarins, uh, Korea is not a market that we can send mandarins to. So it will be greyed out and you won't be able to click on that. But I can still click on China and Thailand. I can still fill in my name as the grower and if you forget this step there'll be a pop-up error that will come up and it will ask you to put in your name in the declaration. So I'm happy with that. I can see that it's called E1. So when I load my map, which will be tab 5, my map will need to show E1. So that is very important that the block name matches the property map. Even though this is made up of individual blocks, the property map must show this block name. So I'm happy with that now. I'll send the KCT application form and click OK. So I'll close that for now. Return to Prime Menu. And if I wanted to see what I've just created, I'll change this menu selection to View KCT Applications. There's the one for Magic Faraway Tree Orchard. There we go, that's the one we just did. So at this stage now I can make changes to that as required or I can actually delete it 
But if I delete it, I'll need to redo an application. So we'll close that, return to Prime Menu. And if I wanted to check the other one that I put into the system, there it is there. So if I hover over this URL link, it will open up the form that I did prior to the other one. So there we go. If you are not sure about group applications or the process, or you're having issues, please contact me, Nicole Zervius, on 0499 44 111 or my email, nicole.zervius at citrusaustralia.com.au.